Welcome back to The Cruel King and the Great Hero. When we last left off, we ended up here at this little junction. Uh, trying to save, uh... Well, those things look adorable. This little fox is a family. Snowbug. No! Why would you do that to him? Don't involve me! <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Whoops. He's already chilled! Yeah, fair enough. Oi! Fuck off! <laughs> I don't- I don't like the mouth he made. It makes me sad. Either way. But where am I supposed to be going? Yeah, I should probably follow that, but... We're gonna do the opposite. Ah, oh, look at you. It's a snow raccoon. So I was playing some Yakuza Like a Dragon earlier, which is a fucking turn-based RPG. And, uh... That game has it where if you press buttons while being attacked and or... While attacking and or being attacked uh, you can either do more damage or take less damage respectfully obviously like let's be fucking logical here uh, so I'm gonna prog uh, proceed by doing just that in this game despite the fact that that does nothing in this game bark 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 you can fucking speak English I know your home is up ahead we might get sick if we go there let's return when we get the flower ah We're not gonna get sick from being here. Like, what's my new ability? Gale Slash! Oh. Huh! Fuck you! I have the thing that stops you from doing that to me. Right? Thing speed. Why? Whatever. I'm getting like 9 XP here. Once again, would be nice if the game told me what the fuck the XP meant in this game. Or, well, not what it meant, but... No, I still can't reach that. Like... Oh, recovery ring. Like, how much XP took me to level up? Like, I, I'm, I should have seen if that was something the game would tell me. Five stamina every turn? Oh! Okay. That seems quite important. I want your defense there. Oh, that only goes up by two? Yeah, no. The, the snow is blocking my path. I wonder if it'll melt by the time I come back. Hopefully. I was also playing uh, SMT5 earlier, which the map button is select, not my, is the plus button, not minus, so that's gonna fuck me up even more. Don't you fucking hurt him. Ah. Uh. No. He brought more people to kick my ass. I don't like it when people do that. Bling. Mate, you're not... You know what? Keep attacking me. 
Oh. No! Oh, I technically only took one hit that turn. Fair enough. Can you stop being mean? I'm asking you humbly. Oh, thank god. So, I take it the, like, recovery rings are overpowered. Either that, or they're just super powerful for the area I'm in. Either way, I'm fine with this. Deer! Huh. Alright. And start! Right, that doesn't kill! Why do I think it does? No. No, I took four extra damage because of it. Also, no, it doesn't matter because of the recovery ring. I'm actually gaining HP while being attacked right now. Oh, and it gives me the extra... It gives me the HP for being uh, hit. At the end of the round, too. What are you? I feel a strange power. Fucking neat. Game, you want to explain something? Shop? Yeah, I'm probably going to want to do this. Ice damage and heal. Okay. I don't feel like I want this. That seems like it'd be very important to... very useless here. I wonder how many chapters this game has. If it's anything like the... it's gotta be longer than five. Yeah, cause you can call in enemy. You can call in fucking allies. And I need to see if memory is something I can take off. I feel like I tried to take uh, cursor mem or menu memory off last time I played this game, but I don't think it's possible. Which is going to be a annoying. Honestly, I'm cool with getting- oh, he learned a skill. Nope. Damn it. The stray lives near up ahead. It's near where a grandfather owl's place is at. There's a shortcut here, but you can't get through it from the side. There's a steep hill on the way, you can forget about climbing it. But if it's up here from here, then it must be downhill the other way. I'd recommend taking the shortcut when you're coming this way from the other side. All right. Aw. I've been bamboozled. 
How much fucking damage did he just do to me? That's what I was afraid of. Shit. Also damage yourself. That makes sense for a charge. Ah, still kicking, I see. We're gonna have to do something about that. If you keep attacking me like that, I will be fine with whatever you do. Level up. Healthy fruit. Oh, well that's neat because I'm about to use it. Found durable cloth. Can't say no to some durable cloth. Can't do that because I got my ass kicked. Raccoon? Oh, right, she fucking grab it straight. Flying, weak to fire, hit multiple enemies at once. Ah! I like how the game will, like. Well, you're adorable. You remind me of like a Poro from fucking League of Legends. That's definitely what I didn't want. Fucker. Fire scary, not surprising. Uh, yeah. That's my ball. I was gonna make a statement about my water bottle being a mile away right now, but I don't want to actually use my water bottle right now. Uh, can you stop spawning enemies? Once again, it currently doing shit that does not matter. Also, once again, pretty sure I'm gonna end with full health after this fight. And I did. Look at hell, this place is a goddamn maze. Snowball hoot. Ah! Fuck you. Oh god. Fox, no. Leave him alone. 
He has done nothing to you. No, because he survived the one attack. Yeah, it's weird that it says it's damaging me because I'm not taking damage. Which I find interesting. What's up? You ever observed a monster behaving closer? If you pay attention, you'll be able to understand what's thinking. Whether or not that's useful is up for debate. What? The fuck does that even mean? Oh, thank God. Sir Owl. You and Rocky had arrived deep in the mountainside. Is he here somewhere? He should be, but Rocky said restlessly, looking around for any signs of the old owl. Just then, the two heard a hoot from the sky above them. There's a fucking beard. Raising their hands, they s their heads, they saw an old owl perched atop the tree branch. Oh, are you the Grandfather Owl? Ah, but you are a new face to me, young one. Grandfather Owl gazed at you, a curious look on his face. I'm you, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Grandfather Owl. Hmm, the pleasant is mine. You, and you are Rocky of the Snow Fox tribe, are you not? It appears your family is in dire straits, and you. Rocky let all yelp, explaining his current predicament to Grandfather Owl. I see, you seek blooming forest. You know where it is? Alas, I do not. These eyes have not laid upon such a sight. It is but a place of rumors. And yet, I cannot deny Rocky's tale of the glowing petal that cured his ailment. If such a place did exist, there is only one place where it may be found. Where, where, you lean forward excitingly as Grandfather Owl continued his explanation. Not even birds flying above Crystal Moon Hill have seen the mystical blooming forest. Therefore, Grandfather Owl concluded the only place it could be was the center of Crystal Hood Moon Hill, a tundra with never-ending blizzards. It was the part of the hill that was impossible to even fly in, let alone glimpse through its icy veil. No one had stepped foot onto its snowy pastures, thus making it the perfect enclosure for something as mysterious as the blooming forest, Grandfather Owl surmised. Be sure to take this with you! Finishing with his explanation, Grandfather Owl handed you a coarse rock full of holes. Huh? What's this? It's so warm! Your clothes is not... Your clothing is not suitable for the forest of this land. This rock contains the power to keep you warm. Take it with you. Yup, alright. Are you sure? Thank you. It is the least I can do for Rocky's family. Moreover, there has been an influx of dangerous monsters nearby. You would do well to take great caution on your journey. Uh, okay, we'll be careful with their newfound knowledge of Crystal Moon Hill. You and Rocky thank Grandfather Owl as they set out once more. Now where the fuck's this? Oh, that's... Alright. Up. Up left, down right. Oh. I'm not fucking with that owl this time. I'm gonna fuck with that owl this time. Mighty Snow Foxes, don't get my way. Ah. You little bastard.
getting fucking tired of being. This thing's calling fucking allies. What happens if I go down? Do you have secrets for me? Uh, it's just gonna keep going that direction. But there is a treasure chest over here. Maybe it's another recovery ring. Oh, I should have been smart and healed. Never mind. Shit. I should have been smart and healed. Please stop hurting me. If you're questioning why I bought the heat ointment, I'm not healing his cling or his chilled. Uh, it's because I'm trying to save that for like a boss. Now oh, I just got a bunch of money. All right. Please use cling on you. That's not using cling. Oh, this is gonna confuse the surviving one. Yeah. Haha. -ha. I've learned. And learning is half the battle. GI Joe. I've never watched GI Joe. Interrupt. Interrupt when it attacks Rocky. How the fuck do you interrupt something? Up. Right, up. Right, I wanted the chest here when I entered this place. I, you would think I'd have a memory better than what I do. Uh, this is not going to end well for me. Especially if they both use, both use like, Gale. Oh, it's called Gust? Yeah. How are you alive? Quit it! Just die. They both miss? I'll take it. Some gus, you dickhead. Yeah, attack me, I can heal. All right, not. Everyone can heal, but like I have passive healing. Well, thing that's not the owl, though.
Mm. Cool, he's done for this turn. Fucking gust. Oh, cool, he leveled up. <laughs> I like the snowflakes that look like fucking little, sh like, throwing stars in the ground. That's really adorable. Why is there a fight right here? I fucking know you don't. Can that fail, please? Although I think only one of them calls, so... I guess I just figure out which one that is and then kick its ass. I mean, hey, if that's the game plan, I'm all for it. Down. Damn it, why can't I have gone first? No! Rocky's too pure. Stop hurting him. Go down, right? Okay, yeah. My memory's a bit fuzzy. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure I was recording. No, I don't have enough. Stop going after him. Like someone had to have beaten this game already. Fucking tell me how many chapters there are. Or I can go fuck myself. Which is, you know. Always fun. Well, that's not fair. Oh. That's not cool. I'm gonna need you to heal and not die, Rocky. Thank you. I want to be fed by a princess. ass. I'm not entirely sure if you's technically a princess. Could you fucking quit? And or can I get another one of these rings? That's a fairy fruit. It did. Refill a bit of it for five turns. Oh, it's a passive item.
Feed us some fruit. All right. Dislikes violence. Yeah, fucking liar. Oh yeah, he dislikes violence. That's why he just fucking shoulder charged you. Check. What am I checking? Kick Rocky's ass. I'm gonna fuck this thing up. I was gonna continue to kick Rocky's ass. Oh, Rocky leveled up. Fuck yeah. Rocky, what level you at? Nine. Uh, you're getting close to me. My ends map. Oh wait, I was supposed to check something here. Ah, snow's blocking the path. This way to you. I'm a bitch. Luckily for me, you cannot freeze me. Ah, I was really hoping you'd kill. Fuck, why am I so tired? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Cause I'm awesome. Maybe. Fuck yeah, cause I think I'm going the right direction. <gasps> Chest. Poison Fang! A oh, pointy Fang. I mean, you're already doing more damage than me. Oh, no, 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 no. One of you is getting your ass kicked. No, you attacked the wrong one. It mattered not. I was about to ask where the treasure chest is. I already got it. It had the fucking pointy fang in it. God, my memory's horrible. Oh, it's bad. Oh, this is significantly not as bad. Ah. Well, it could have been even more significantly not as bad. Why are you faster than me? Fucking quit it. Jesus, such a long fucking area. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 
Why are they, why the, what the fuck? Oh wait, random damage bullshit. Ah, someone clocked this game in uh, like seven hours? All right. Well shit, I could probably beat this fucking thing today then. I'm all down for that. I... Stop throwing everything at me. Please. Oh, wait, this is Storybook Edition? Hold that thought up. Got like an art book and shit. I'll buy it later. Six, three. I mean, I don't think this is gonna be like the greatest game known to goddamn man, but. Point five. May not be the average gamer, but beautifully illustrated interactive fairy tale, scratch the age. Very approachable formula, makes the RPG fans a bit home to try and shoot turn base. An engaging story. Capture her immediately. Yeah. That's that's you know, you're not going into this game looking for, you know. The greatest, you know, like, this is not, like, this game's not gonna go down in history as, like, fucking revolutionary or anything like that, but, you know, you're going to this game, you're looking for a nice, cozy little turn-based, you know, RPG, you know, it's something that, you know, it help you unwind. Howl. Enemies cannot use their skills. Alright. I mean, it's still probably going on my, like... Best of. For the year. Unless some wild shit comes out. Whoops, don't want that. <laughs> Fuck you, rock crab. Mystical land rumored to lay at the heart of Crystal Moon Hill was made real. Not a snowflake in sight to conceal its unnatural calm. Flowers of all kinds carpeted the ground, a garden of flowers amid the winter wonderland. This was the storied blooming forest. Whoa, well, amazing! You and Rocky's eyes were transfixed by the field of flowers that had appeared before them. The blooming forest, it really does exist. We did it, Rocky. Rocky yelped out and cheered. The glowing pink flower the two had been searching for was somewhere here. The two quickly recomposed themselves as they began searching the forest. And, oh, okay, I'm about to say there better not be enemies here. Or at least they're like all like lower level. I can't pass through the ivy, I'll come back later. No. 
Oh fuck, boss. Suddenly a fierce monster they've never seen before left from the nearby thicket. Is this one of those scary monsters Grandfather Owl told us about? The beast scowled at you and Rocky, its eyes filled with hostility. Be careful Rocky, it's coming at us. Monster of Demon King MT? Did that work? Ow. Alright. Ah! This game is not going to tell me anything about these bosses. Lovely. That's how I, how I like my games. Do not tell me shit. I mean, I feel like this is going to be an easy fight. It's the first fucking boss fight. In, uh, it's the first boss fight in an easy game. I don't think I'm going to be straining... I don't think I'm going to be straining myself with this shit. But, you know, I could be surprised. This game could show me what for. Ah. Jesus. Oh, no, wait. Please stop hitting me. It hurts. Okay. Oh, I critted. Cool. Can this crit too? I'm gonna have to heal you at some point. I'm gonna have to heal you now! There we go. Oh, 30 XP. I didn't level up. After a struggle, you and Rocky finally drove the beast away. Huff, huff. Are you okay, Rocky? Affirmed with a... S Rocky affirms you with a small cry. Thank goodness. Why was such a frightening monster here in the first place? You mauled to no avail. It bothers me, but there's... That's not important right now. We need to find that shiny flower. You saved your concern for another time. All right, Rocky, let's go. The pair continued their trek into the forest. Game. Rocky, look! Those flowers are super shiny. Planted by the side of the fountain where the pink flowers the two had been searching for. Ever so carefully, she picked one of them. Good, it's still shining. Alright, let's get back to your family, Rocky. Just then, the fountain began glowing the same shade of the flower you had been just plucked. A figure appeared from within, something that wasn't quite human. 
I welcome you to the Fountain of Wishes. I am its guardian spirit, uttered the Fountain Spirit introducing itself to you. Uh, uh, hello there. You was thrown off by the spirit's unexpected emergence. Despite this, the spirit continued. This fountain grants any wish for those with a strong will. Now, state your wish. M my wish? The fountain spirit nodded slowly in response. Uh, I want to become a great hero, but you brought... You breaks out of her bewilderment to consider her wish carefully. It wouldn't be fair for my wish to be granted. Aha, how admirable. You giggled in response to the praise. The fountain fairy reached out and gently touched Yu's blushing cheeks. Then I shall grant you a small blessing. Around the world, you will find similar fountains to mine. They will offer you repose whenever you are in need of it. They will be a great aid on your adventure. The fairy... The fountain spirit concluded with. May the fountains be your guiding light before disappearing. Ah, oh, god fucking damn it. I'm having fucking Kingdom Hearts 3 flashbacks. She's gone! What was all that about, I wonder? Something about it felt familiar. Uh, you fell into a daze. Rocky urged you to return to his family. Ah, oh, right, we've got to hurry and deliver these flowers. You and Rocky sped off into the winter behind, beyond the forest. Uh, oh, thank you. Plucking a single pellet from the flower, you and Rocky first handed it to the youngest cub. The cub was enveloped by the soft pink glow before long its fe fever had died down. We did it! It worked! The two each cured the remaining family members. In no time, Rocky's family had been healed. You helped us, even though you're complete strangers. You have my greatest thanks. The vixen expressed her gratitude. Uh, don't thank me. It was I was just helping out Rocky, is all. He worked really hard for you all to get better. He worked really hard to get all of you better. Rocky's family all had tears streaming down their faces as they celebrated their recovery. You became a little teary-eyed yourself. I'm happy for you, Rocky. You was genuinely glad that she was able to help Rocky's family. Before you had realized that the sun was about to set, it was time for her to return home. Rocky called to you as she left, promising that he'd help her whenever she was in trouble. Thanks, Rocky. See you later. Parting with those words, she ran back to the Dragon King who was awaiting her return. Rocky was sad to see you go, but cried out his goodbye until she vanished, until she disappeared from sight. Uh, when a companion parts ways, her accessories were weird. Thank you. Returning companions come with no accessories. Ah! I did not explore this area at all. Shall we head back home? Uh, yeah. Does this game have multiple endings? You and the Dragon King return to their mountain den, but a suspicious figure lurked in the shadows of the trees. Dragon went through all that trouble to get that monster to the hill, but I didn't expect it to succumb to you. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. I must do something soon. I have no choice. I've planned this for far too long. It's time I put the wheels into motion. Everything will go just as planned. You will surely yield next time. Yeah, I trying to see if Welcome back, Miss Yu. You've done well helping others. It's just what a hero would do. I see you've cured the Fox family. It may be good to check on them again later on. So 
So you fought off a strong monster in Crystal Moon Hill, did ya? Sicko little hands and four wings. Yep, sounds like a dragon alike. They shouldn't be up there, though. Monster from Demon King Mountain is currently at Crystal Moon Hill. Something strange is going on. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I fucking ran right past it. Is it time for bed? Sleep! Good night. The day had come to an end, as they always did, and the Dragon King lay comfy in their bed. You and the Dragon King lay comfy in their bed. You regaled the Dragon King of her adventures in the day. Hello. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. The Demon King was pleased that you had helped someone in need. If you continue as you are, you, the dr the day someone calls you a hero, is sure to come soon. Hee hee. I think so. I can't wait. Now you, let's get some sleep. How about a tale of the great hero? Yes, please. What does he do this time? Today I will count the time the hero defeated a terrible monster in White Thread Valley. After the battle, the young man had the monster cornered. He was one strike away from victory, but he didn't deliver the final blow. I believe you merely followed the Dr Demon King's orders. For that, I shall spare your life. Instead, I ask that you consider the error of your ways. The young man left, the village now freed from the Demon King's tyranny. It is said that the villagers came to command, commend him for his deeds. But that's all for tonight. Having finished the story, the Dragon King turned and looked at you. He helped so many people, and he became a hero because of it. Yes, that's why you, in order for you to... Before he could finish, you had fallen fast asleep. She's fast asleep. The Dragon King's gently stroked Yu's head, finishing his thoughts himself. That's why in order to recognize as a hero, you must defeat a very cruel monster, one feared by many. One day, the Dragon King was... Tending to his kingly duties of listening to his servants daily reports before delegating their next tasks So the East Valley's bridge is broken the human use that quite often we should have that fixed as quickly as we can See to it that's done as you wish your majesty Despite being a monster himself the dragon king often was often giving orders to aid the humans It was unusual in that many of the other monsters did not think highly of the humans the monsters, while reluctant, respected their king. Why should we help those ugly humans? But if the king requests it, I suppose it must. I must. The monsters found themselves doing rather well despite their misgivings. Suddenly, a servant named Saibat barged into the throne room in a flurry. Your majesty, something terrible has happened. Saibat explained the situation to the king, his voice becoming higher with each word. Spoke of the... Huni Crystal Woods, or the Huni Bear and the Honey Bees had begun arguing with one another, and that the conflict was sure to arise if not dealt with post haste. After listening to Saibat's report, the Dragon King said, My goodness, they always seem to be in such good terms with one another. He mulled over the cause of their feud, then told Saibat, They must have a reason for this. We must look into this matter. I have someone special in mind to assist you, if you wouldn't mind. Do you mean me? You were surprised at the thought. Yes, of course. I've heard great things of Miss Yu's adventures. The compliment made you perk, perk up. Seeing this, Saibat's face developed a devil's chagrin. Dad, I want to go. Yu's puppy dog eyes made the Dragon King ponder his decision. Finally, he gave in. Uh, Alright then. I shall keep an eye on her. Being the most knowledgeable of the matter, it would be a good idea for me to take the lead. Thanks for doing that, Saibat. Together, Saibat and you left the throne. Hmm, something feels off. A troubled expression washed over the Dragon King's face as he saw the two off. You received a special blessing from the Spirit Fountain and can utilize magic powers from the fountain around the world. 
Uh, warp tank. Oh, fuck yeah. That's, that's what we like to hear. Yeah, there does- this place doesn't seem too big. Something happened in Honey Crystal Woods. Hmm, hopefully it's nothing dangerous. It's probably something extremely dangerous. I'm trying to see if there's anything stating that, like, I need to do the side quests. I might miss you. How do you do? Say, are you free by any chance? How do you do, madam? If it's up you need, I'm all ears. Is something the matter? Perceptive as always, miss you. Something vexing has occurred to me. I'm beside myself. Lend me an ear. Sure thing. You see, the Sheep Tribe owns a number of businesses in the village. Are you familiar with business rivals? Are they the same thing as any other kind of rival? Not them, they're not. They're constantly harassing my family. They're causing us so much pain. The Wolf Tribe is an unruly bunch, yet they claim they protect the village. Fight business with business, cowards. Deep breaths, madam. Pardon me now, Miss Yu. Last night, those blasted thieves made off with my most precious keepsakes. Horrible, they're by, uh, beyond forgiving. The mere thought is infuriating. Uh, Miss Yu, I have a favor to ask. Oh, I know, you want me to bring back the stuff they stole. Preposterous, that alone will not suffice. You must infiltrate their territory and utterly demolish their prized possessions. Uh, I don't think... I've already sent another agent of chaos rendezvous with Felicia for further instructions on her mission. I leave it in your hands, Miss Yu. This is deserved penance. Now crush those brutes. Those blessed mongrels. Alright, anyways, how come me up with Felicia, okay? Like, oh shit, she's pissed. Oh my god. Conflict one. Lady, stop pissing everyone off. <laughs> is that fucking wildcat? What does this say? Hey, don't look that's that's fucked up. That's not right. Alright, what do we got? Who the fuck you need help here? You. You there, uh, human. Uh, human. Uh, do you mean me? Do you see another human? I don't know your name, so I'm calling you human. Uh, I guess there's no other humans, but my name's you. Nice to meet you. Are you even listening to me, human? I don't know your name. Whatever, <laughs> it doesn't really- She just told you. The gatekeeper, you're helping others to need, are you? That's right, anything you need, I can help out. Me, here, right here, me, I'm in trouble, listen. I've been so bored lately to break things up a bit, I went into the forest the other day. Like you puny humans, I'm tough anyways, to so keep going. I kept going. Thought I could reach the other side. And I saw this thing on the ground, Look, looked like it might have been left there intentionally. Human, do you know what this is? Bet you don't, it's a message bottle. It lets you exchange information with complete strangers. Well, I found out that Grandfather Owl told me. But it's a prize, I'll tell you that much. Inside the bottle's a paper with some message scribbled on it. But the most important parts, I can't read at all. So I went to Grandmaster Owl. 
of the old who being the old who he was he figured it out not sure who wrote the who what yeah not sure what tribe the writer was from but apparently it says who are you christ i knew exactly what to do the message obviously was addressed to me and only me i just know it so i figured i'd reply to them except i realized i had no way of writing back i'm a fighter not a thinker anyway i was racking my brain over this and i remember the village weaver misty She's as good a weaver as they come, and she's in the loop with the villagers. I asked her about the way. We said I expected, Misty told me about the heart embroidery that weaves, weaves feelings into fabric. Even a green heart like me could do that. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Except it's kind of complicated. Well, all I need to know... All I needed to know was that it was the way of speak to speak my mind. Lo and behold, I've got no way of taking time off my guard duties, so my hands are tied. Wildcat's up to no good, and, there's sh and we're short in hand, so it as is. Well, forget the nitty gritty. At the end of the day, I was thinking about how I could make time for this message business, and I heard from the blacksmith that you were helping people who needed it. Fate's on my side, I figured. You mean I need your help? I've got a small sort of, like a small favor sort of ask. You gotta see Misty. Ask her about the heart embroidery. Once you find all the materials, bring them straight back to me. I mean, be them back to me so I can work on the heart. Jesus Christ! I got the dude's fucking backstory for that. Okay, you got it. I'm gonna ask Misty about the materials and bring them back to you. Bingo! I can't leave the post, so I need you. To fucking Christ! Learn that dude's life story. I thought Madam was fucking bad with her tellings. Nah, that was horrible. I'm in trouble. What to do? Big, big trouble. Someone help me. So busy, so very busy. Yeah, fucking, why is everyone repeat here? It's wrong. I haven't seen you before. Who are you again? My name's you. Nice to meet you. Oh, how courteous. We are the seamstresses, Ned and Nari. I'm Ned, and this is... Nari, but more importantly, we're in bind, a huge bind. We won't be able to make the delivery. What delivery? Hey, you're getting ahead. Way too ahead of yourself, Nari. Don't trouble the girl. Breathe. This isn't the time. We have to hurry, really hurry, to finish the Star Festival Madam's costumes. No time. That was much more... Concise. That was much more concise, Nari. Is she asleep? Wait, all that yelling must have tuckered her- <laughs> Jesus. She's still standing, it's like- Because she works through the night. Do you two need help? I'd love to lend a hand. I'm helping others in help in need right now. Goodness, you mean it? We'd love for your help, you. We're in so, so much trouble. Have you heard of the Star Festival? Can't say I have. It's a big, huge festival. God damn it. That's true, Dragon. Uh, two maids are chosen the tree of plaza represent the north star at night when the stars are near we give each other star festival star bits and watch the mad maidens sing and dance for the festival begins we make the star bits from the honey and the honey crystal woods to exchange <laughs> i'll spare you all the details our jobs as seamstresses is to make costumes for the maidens we wanted to start making the costumes, but the materials are so very rare, so special. Without them, we can't. What materials are you missing? First, we need the base fabric for the costumes. We need three bundles of silver hair to begin. But only some monsters carry the silver hair, so it's not a walk in the park to get. Okay, I just have to gather three bundles from certain monsters, right? Yes, yes, thank you. I'll mark them on the speed map where you will find them. Fuck, Lord. Who are you? Oh, welcome. What can I do for you? Hi there, I'm you. Are you Miss Misty, the Weaver? 
Yes, I am young lady. Please just call me Misty. Okay, Misty. What a friendly little girl you are. Now what brings you here today? Right, the gatekeeper, Quester, wanted me to at come and ask you about heart embroidery. Quester's busy, so I'm here asking you about how to get the heart embroidery, heart embroidery materials for him. My, I presumed he wasn't interested in embroidery, but I was mistaken. He really does seem serious about it. I'll tell you about the heart embroidery. The weaver's one the weaver it weaves one's strongest feelings together to form a message. It's a simple spell with simple materials. Thoughtful thread and papyrus. I have fucking skeletons in this game too. Once you have those, you must have to focus on your feelings and thread the thoughtful thread through the needle. The moment the needle touches the cloth, your hand will record your feelings to create the heart embroidery. Your hands will work by themselves, only stopping when the embroidery is done. All is left is to give it to someone. That person will feel what you felt, though not quite as strong. The stronger you feel, the more they'll feel it. The materials can be found in the forest, bringing them to me. I can make the thread full. The thoughtful thread. Hmm. I need. I will need one bundle of epiphany gla grass and a gossip fruit that grows on ivy. Mark on the map where you can find them. Keep an eye out for any dangerous monsters along the way, okay? While you're out, we shall cut the thread and prepare the beginner needle. And don't worry about the payment. I'll speak to uh, Quester about it. So focus on gathering what I need. Did you get all that? Yeah, but I just need to get one bundle of epiphany glass and one gossip fruit. All right. That's correct. Now do be careful. Hell. Cool. Travel to another fountain? No, not yet. Oh, fuck, there's shit there too. Oh my god, there's so much stuff there. God damn, that is a huge area actually. What the fuck? Well, that's the fox's area. Where am I going? Right. You look cool. But uh, the game was taking a bit to actually change the song. A strong mouse. Okay. Damn. He's hungry. All that reading, like, tired. I don't know why I get tired while reading. I'm not sure if I ever. Oh, yeah, I think I remember reading that. God damn, what would be this game I'm already on it? <laughs> it fucking knocked me out. What the hell? <laughs> Random stone. That's really funny. Someone is waiting for you. Oh. Two, three, four.
Yeah, he sees like everything else. The hell are you doing in here? It's up ahead, the honey attracts bugs, and the monsters that live there eat the bugs. Among them are honey pots, which are a bit strange. If one comes across something that's been hurt, friend or foe, they'll give it honey all the same. And then the recipient will be healed, but they'll be all sticky for a while. Be careful. Makes you vulnerable. Everyone loves the honey from honey crystal woods. Okay. Done with that. Oi! Jesus Christ, quit! Uh, and most of can do is 15. Never mind, most he can do is 13, Jesus Christ. I guess grinding would be fucking. What the hell is that thing? The fuck is that thing? I don't like it. I don't like mushrooms that have teeth. Generally, I don't like things that have teeth that shouldn't have teeth, but you know, I digress. This thing's gonna attack first. Never mind. Oh, thank God. Okay, it does reselect the target. Cool, you can keep doing that while I. Now, this is a ranged attack. So, would it hurt if I. It shouldn't, right? Nah. Cool. Hmm. I guess it would still be beneficial to not attack it. To get the bonus. The forest was smothered in nectar so sweet it would puckered the lips of anyone who tasted it. The sweet smell of the strange flowers made it all the monsters here juvenile and full of mirth. This eccentric place was the honey crystal woods. Oh, we're really good at juggling, Cybat. You and Cybat chattered idly as they strolled through the woods. Yes, of course, my knife wielding skills are the best of the best. I even had them engraved with my face as a trademark of my skill. I often perform for the Dragon King in his court. It brings me great joy that so many influential monsters find their performances so enjoyable. With the swish, Cybat mimicked throwing a knife. Your knives have their face on them? Awesome! I should put my face on my sword too. You said your sword, but wait. I've only seen you throw rocks. I've never seen you throw knives. Ah, you see, I lost them a while ago and I'd like to search for them, but... Sabat's eyes dart nervously about as he frantically attempts to change the subject. Uh, anyway, I miss you. The Honey Bear Tribe's village is nearby. Why don't we head over there and see? All the commotion. Alright, let's go. Sabat's suggestion. You decide to make way to the village of the Honey Bears. He's like, oh shit, I said something I shouldn't have. Hmm. Neat. I was looking at the ants in the background. That is literally just a pot with wings. Oh. 
Oh. No one gives no one, no one gives me stuff. Ah. Fucking leave him alone. Can't you see he's already injured? Yeah, attack me. I'm cool with that. Yeah, so I think it's fairly clear that like all these monsters, especially the ones that dealt with um especially with the spider thing calling the Dragon King the Demon King. It seems they've all done some shit in their past, probably related to why the hero's dead. Or why the hero did what he did, and everyone's like, you know, we should probably, you know, make up for what we did. Also, don't let you know. Please don't ignore me. Uh huh. Why? Why does everything hurt? Oh man, this sucks. I don't know which way to go. Alright. <gasps> More fairy fruit. The honey hardened so it makes a wall. Huh. The damage still confuses me to no end in this game. I'm in chapter three, right? Yeah. It seems like each chapter is like a couple of hours. If you do everything. Oh, thank God he leveled up. Skill learned. I like skill learns. Okay, I'm going the right direction. So it seems very much go to location, figure out what there's a problem. Go to different location to help solve the problem. And that's the cycle of this game. Okay. Oh, he's all sad because I did <laughs> I've ignored him. I wonder, I wonder if that like, a uh, teardrop thing is them like, oh shit. I can go back and get those chests. Ha! Ah, you missed! No, oh, you didn't. Mock. Makes sense. Ah.
I'll kick his ass. Something's on the ground. Stone sword. Oh, fuck yeah. That's actually a decent boost. Uh, down. Let's go up. Were these fucking bees supposed to heal me? It's being ignored, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Not used to kindness, ah. That's really sad. Yeah, that's a sword. That's a stone sword. Reminds me of a sword I've seen in a. Uh... This thing can hit for thirteen, can't it? That it can. I just healed you. Oh, thank God. Oh shit. Uh Oh, and he runs away. I see the mistake I've made. But I'm still alive, so... Damn it. Thank you. I wonder what's inside. Yeah. Apparently, those fucking owl, uh, not owls, honey toads. I'm gonna request you fucking leave him alone. Please level up. Shit. Hmm. No, I know I know what to do.
Oh, it's an item. Let's go. You, I need to talk to you. I'm glad to hear Nathan was pleased with it. If you ever need anything else, I'll hesitate to check. Oh, right. One button. Sorry. Patronage, hell yeah. Oh, it doesn't show. Eh, uh, while I'm here. Might as well do like the side quests. What is the side quest here? I should be able to fuck those things up now, right? Hopefully I can. And again, I should probably like walk around and see if I can grab any of the uh, chests. Okay, so I guess just go, well, no, I can't go straight, but. Oh, I wonder if I can fly with Cybat. Was worth a a gander. These fuckers are still faster than me. Jesus Christ! Yeah, a, a second. A second uh, recovery ring would be fucking fantastic. That would alleviate so many of my health issues. Stop hitting me. Stop double hitting him. The fact that I'm still walking concerns me, because that means there's shit in here that can still fuck me up. I don't like how it's called toxic though. Fine with it. Just using his basic attack. This is a deep area. Oh, this thing right here. 
Found gossip fruit. Hell yeah. God damn. I, I guess this isn't like nearly as bad. Like if I were, was running into these things, I would have done this last time I was here. But no, I was running the the four rabbits, which those things hurt. Fireproof material here. That's not fun. Yeah, I was running into this shit. Plan didn't work out as well as I was hoping it would, did it? Fucking whatever. Ah, oh, there we go. Hell yeah. The plan actually worked out. It could have worked out better. But it worked out. We got powerful for it. Sweet. Fireproof material. Fuck yeah. I could. But I want to hit that chest. Yeah, and there doesn't appear to be anything here that is going to like hurt me. Okay, this. Could be worse. Yeah, keep doing that shit. Honestly. Stop attacking him! I can use all my items and shit. Mainly because he's not leveling up. Mainly because I'm only like fighting in like weak areas. Like, I get what's going on, but still. I'm still gonna like complain about it and shit. Oh, these things. Oh, they can heal. Don't involve me. Okay, so... They are of the, uh... Multiple hit family. No! <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's fucking upside down and shit. Fucking Christ. There's this weird like... There's like a ticking sound whenever they attack at times. Okay, so that's how death works in this game. Eh, that's a little neat little 
tidbit of info. They come back, uh, things come back with one HP after a fight. How is the rock on fire? Cool, can the other one do that? I'll take the other one missing. For fact, this is. <laughs> uh. No, my weakness. Not tricking people. Hell yeah. Can I get an attack boost? Goldie's collection. Goldie's collection. What the fuck? All right. I forgot who's Goldie. It's not Madam Goldie, is it? Oh no no no! We are not dealing with you shit. Fucking obliterated him. Cool. Just don't. I actually should not crit. Thank you. Yeah, weird asking for a not crit. It's like Pokemon. Yeah, we get to kill right here. Of his stamina, all allies or enemies. All right. Goldie's favorite gold square ring. I don't. All right. I have no I, no fucking clue. I'm so tired. I guess, like, weirdly, like, reading in video games, like, makes me yawn a lot. I don't know why. I guess I can find games where I don't... Read a lot. Which fucking sucks, because I play RPGs, and that's all you fucking do in these games. So I'm uh I'm not being the smartest person with my game choice. <laughs> Stop hitting me, you sack of shit. I do not appreciate. Well, 
die. And stop with this fucking formation. Cool. Actually, I'm glad you did that. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Oh wait, it never does. And you're dead anyways. 58! Goldie's collection. Oh, this is literally... Am I not supposed to be here yet? Am I am I grabbing shit for quests I can't I can't I don't have unlocked yet? What is this fucking room with this goddamn setup? Honestly. Could have critted the high speed. That would have been like useful, you know. Oh, it actually has, like, defense. Yeah, it's not like it matters. <laughs> Let's say where- how do I leave this room? Eh, let's see what down looks like. treasure chest. If I ever don't like what's going on, I can always just teleport out. Can we stop at this room? I like to think even the Dragon King's in the back like, God damn, this shit again? Like, this is insane. Yeah. Interesting. Of course, is the world's longest room. <gasps> There's two treasure chests. Hell yeah, shells. Light rope. Speed goes up, but defense takes a fucking hit. No. Wait, I don't need the chilled ring or chilled amulet on anymore. Although I will put it back on when I go back up there.
Do I kill it this turn or? Oh, they're both upset because they both got ignored. That's not fun. Poor them. And now I get to walk all the way to the other end of this room, just to walk back to the center. And let's kill everything. How is that clicking sound? When did he die? If it wasn't obvious, I'm not paying attention to the game at times. Shouting when did he die should have uh, made that clear. Right, it's a minus one. Oh my god, it's literally the same length back. I'm literally crossing this room twice. Hey, yeah, I actually have to think this fight. I guess it's the fight with three bats I have to think about now that I say it, or at least pay attention to. I don't think I was exactly like low on HP when I got there. Goddamn, bitch. Did you just get mugged? Yeah, it's only when the bats hit. That's a weird sound for the they to, them to make. And it's only sometimes. I'm very confused. Oh shit! Yeah, well, I've already, I've already hit him. So, that's fair enough. And we're off. Oh, that wasn't nearly as bad as I was expecting it to be. So two and then up. Or I can continue to go fuck myself. No, they're sad again.
<laughs> Hell yeah, level up. Skills and shit. Fun times all around. The greatest thing coming out of this is the fact that I'm not going to be in this fucking ca cave much longer. I'm not going to see this damn enemy formation. Because this is getting ridiculous. Oh wait, <laughs> right. Cursor memory, or men menu memory. It's not exactly a cursor in this game. Every other game I play has like a cursor, so it's called cursor memory. At least we're out of here. Fuck. Oh god, this shit again. Fuck you. Ah. That's just a uh, fucking clear. Okay. I'm fine with that. So what I want to do is I want to... Faster than you. Thank you. It's not worth fighting. I want to see what's up here. Oh, right. He's guarding the human village. I uh, can't go there yet. I take it we eventually go there and they're like, yeah, the dragon's an asshole, and we're like, ah, fuck. I'm almost done with everything. In this area, for now. They are still fucking faster than me. That is outrageous. <laughs> I don't think this game's running mechanic works. Either the game's mechanic doesn't work or I can't read because I am fairly certain. Like, more than a little. That the game's like, yeah, while running, you shouldn't run into enemies. Because you're super over their level. That's the whole reason the mechanic exists. Whatever. I'm fairly certain it's faster just to attack them. 
I mean, it most certainly would be if there was a, like, auto attack. Ah. Yep. There you are, son of a bitch. They're like fucking squeak toys. What you got for me? A flight tail feather. The hell? Right. Ah, just in speed and <gasps> jump slash. Because I have nothing else I need, right? It is literally return. Give item, give item. Complete kinds of acts of kindness, complete story. I haven't done them yet. Right! Okay, so, okay. Because this is down. Oh, Felicia's in here. I think you're Felicia. I'm gonna do the side quest, call it a video, go do some stuff, and then I'll be right back for Twitch, and then start up a new video, so. Oh, hello dear- ah, the little, her little scarf thing is transparent. Everything seems to be in order, you've done a wonderful job. But now I must conduct the technique in private, do you mind waiting? It should be just a minute, I'll be back before you know it. Alrighty, I finished the thoughtful thread. Here you go. Well, the threading is so beautiful. It even sparkles a little. Thank you so much, Misty. Of course, it was nothing difficult. Also, I prepared you some other things as well. These are two lace needles for beginners and a bundle of papyrus to perform the embroidery. I've made quite a bit here so you can share it with someone. Please tell Quester to be true to his feelings. Okay, I've got it. I'll be sure to tell him. Are you you? By chance, my name's Felicia. I serve the Madden 7th Aid. Oh, so you're Felicia. Hey there. Yep, I'm you. I'm sure Madam already briefed you, but let's go over it again. Hold on just a second. When I spoke to her, she got super mad and told me the, to damage the wolf's property. But I'm. it feels wrong. I can't do it. Yeah, ex- <coughs> Expect as much, I get it. I actually was thinking you could just take back what was stolen you. Huh? That's it? I also disagree with using such destructive and vengeful methods. <coughs> Keep that between you and me, okay? And they want to recover the prized items in Madame Goldie's collection. I'd prefer if her belongings could be exchanged over civil conversation, but those wolves won't hear it. Goldie's collection was taken by the wolves and hidden away in one of their many treasure kit chests. It'll definitely be in one of them. Can you recover Goldie's treasure, Goldie's collection from the wolves? If that's all, then sure, I can get it. I'll search the wolves' treasure. Yeah, I already did it. Thanks a bunch. Good luck out there. Cool. 
cool. Uh, wait. Yeah, that was everything. All right. If it makes it easier to dodge attacks, that seems sketch. For me, that seems sketch. I'm I'm against that. I don't put shit on luck. Impish. My luck in games tends to be shit, so... We're not doing it. Human, your bag I've been waiting for you. Here you go, here's what you asked for. The thoughtful thread, papyrus, and two beginning needles, too. You can make the heart embroidery now, Missy said. You can share those with someone else, too. You say you make it, focus on your feelings, and thread the thoughtful th thread through the needle. Then poke it into the cloth, and your hand will begin embroidering. Really weird, huh? When you're done, your hands will stop. Give it to someone, and they'll somehow feel your feelings. Missy said that you should be true to your feelings. Hmm, I see, I see. I don't get it. Oh no. Oh well, I'll just give it a try. Thanks for helping, human. Hey, wait a second. I can communicate through the person I gave this to, can't I? Uh, that's what I said earlier. Misty said... Wait, were you not listening at all? I may just be a genius after all. I gosh darn figured it out. Alright, I'm gonna do it. When I'm done with my grand duties to my guard duties today, I'm gonna s give it a go. But what should I say? Who are you? I'm a wolf, a gatekeeper. Sweet and simple. Okay, let's get it. Hold on, I haven't paid you yet. Well, this do. Humans don't need much, right? Looking forward to doing business with you again. Cool. Rebirth charm. Auto revives when faints breaks after use. Never mind. I'm not surprised it does, but I don't have to like it. Get all of these are like multi stacked, multi tasks, multiple tasks. All right, you don't look shady as shit. Stand there, no name, motherfucker. Goodness, I've never seen such a strange and combustible material quite like this before. Hmm, I've been inspired. The gears in my head are turning, churning with new ideas, you see. My heart is beating faster than I th can think. Now, without further ado, insert this into the damaged part of the socket. Pass it through here, then plug it into this. To regulate the balance, I'll adjust the latch and then... And presto, it's finished. I've done it, you see. Quick now, let's run some tests. And with the remaining materials, I'll create an accessory for my lovely benefactor, Miss You. Hmm, are you sure? Yes, I, Genius Extraordinaire, will make you an accessory that will make the, all the others look like toys. Thanks, I wonder what it'll be. I can't wait. Now look here, this accessory is going to amplify Miss You's abilities. It's quite simple, really. We'll start here. This is where my genius comes in, my little... Embellishment never, a little embellishment never hurt. A swish, swish, swish. Some finishing touches and a big squeeze and done. How does it feel? Well, it's amazing. I can feel the energy flowing through me. You really are a genius idea. You made this so fast. Of course I am. It was a trivial test for my intellect, you see. What about your slump idea? Is it gone? Indeed it is. It was your assistance, your advice, and of course your kindness that paved the way. It's just my job. I'm going to help whoever's in need of it. I'm glad I was able to help, idea. Let me know if you need help again. Mm, how noble of you. It's so touching. I'm at a loss for words, you see. You may also come to me whenever you need find yourself in a twist helping others. There are no limit to my extent of my g there are no limits to the extent of my genius, you see. Really, that's comfortable. No thanks, idea. Think nothing of it. It's only fair. Do you return to me with any problems that require my intellect, you see? Cool. Smart glasses. Yeah, oh, goddammit.
Ah, uh, critical. That's not bad. Oh, I got stuck on the sheep. Um, we can't go there. That'll probably be the next area. That fire pit. Oh, okay. I should be able. To, once I get back to the snow area, I'll call the video. Which should not take long, considering it's literally like two paths. And again, I'm super over leveled. Oi! Who said you could hurt him? Shameful. No, oh, up. Was I walking backwards? Yeah, it was for a bit. Like, right before the game loaded properly. You know, a crow would be really nice. Because that would allow me to, like, one-shot one of these things. Well, one-turn one of them. Not that anything ever goes my way, but... Right. Alright, YouTube, with that, I'm going to call the video here. When we return, we will continue the side quest and then hopefully move on to the honey area. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.